Hello, everyone. Uh, I'm Natalia Raikunen, and I'm from Finland. Uh, so glad to be here. First time, actually, in FOS uh, 4G conference. First time in Tartu. I'm so happy to be here. And first uh, uh, session <laughs> today. Uh, my topic is about uh, open source solutions for managing uh, crowdsourced geospatial data. And uh, uh, it will be about uh, Lone Ice Theater, uh, our organization, and uh, why uh, we use uh, crowdsourcing for collecting and managing uh, geospatial data. And then I will describe uh, two of uh, our um, open data products, uh, regional recreational information uh, data set and uh, locations of regional services. And uh, after that, I um, will uh, talk about uh, uh, OGC open uh, solutions for integrating crowdsource data. And uh, uh, I will discuss about uh, limitation, limitations of crowdsourcing and uh, our strategies uh, to overcome them. So let's start uh, about Lone Ice Theater. Uh, Lone Ice Theater is a nonprofit organization. Uh, it is a regional information platform in Southwest Finland. Uh, it is actually a part um, of the regional, uh, uh, so, so <laughs> first, uh, uh, what Launas Theater means. Uh, Launas Theater word uh, contains two parts. Uh, Launas means southwest and uh, theater means information. Uh, so, um, uh, Launas Theater uh, is a established in uh, 2002, uh, already more than 20 years. Uh, and uh, it is a part of the regional uh, council of Southwest Finland. Um, regional council is an uh, organization for promoting uh, regional interests and um, organization for regional planning. And uh, uh, what uh, Lona Theater uh, does, uh, Lona Theater provide uh, open information and pro provide uh, different services, uh, for example, map service uh, and uh, statistical service. And we promote open data, promote uh, uh, data opening, and we help uh, different organizations, municipalities to open their data. Uh, and uh, we not uh, only provide uh, different services, we also organize different events and uh, Actually, uh, nowadays, Lone Ice Theater uh, works as a network um, for um, open data in the whole region. Uh, we are a very small team, actually, only three persons, and uh, we are all here <laughs> in Tartu. And uh, if you want to know more about our organization, please come tomorrow. And uh, you can hear Mayus' <laughs> um, uh, presentation tomorrow. We, you will get an opportunity to learn more about our organization. Uh, so only three person, but uh, every summer our team is strengthened by a summer intern. And also during the year, if we have uh, any projects, uh, uh, so uh, usually uh, students or uh, project uh, workers uh, come to us. Uh, so here you can see um, our uh, website uh, uh, where you can find uh, links to different uh, services. And I will talk about open uh, data service uh, today. So why crowdsourcing? Uh, I think uh, you are all here because uh, you somewhat use <laughs> crowdsourcing <laughs> in your uh, data collection or in maintaining uh, crowdsourcing data. Uh, as our, uh, our organization uh, is part of uh, regional uh, council that promote uh, regional development, uh, so uh, the main um, 
d the main uh, uh, deal of our organization is uh, regional planning. And regional planning requires up-to-date data. And actually is uh, quite, uh, uh, it requires a lot of resources. It's also time consuming uh, to have up-to-date data when you have uh, quite, uh, no, no, not so much resources. Uh, and so why uh, we uh, thought that crowdsourcing may be uh, quite a good method uh, to fulfill gaps in data collection. Uh, crowdsourcing, actually, uh, crowdsourcing a data set means building it with others. Uh, it is rapid, cost-effective, and dynamic alternative through, the, through traditional methods and uh, integration of crowdsourced data can fill gaps in data collection uh, because uh, we can uh, receive data from uh, exactly from uh, data providers. Uh, and uh, uh, Lovna's data uh, actually uh, doesn't provide uh, uh, data, uh, but m mostly we um, open uh, data from uh, other data providers or other organizations. Uh, but uh, in two, uh, in these examples, you can see um, our own data. Um, uh, it is uh, outdoor recreational data. It contains uh, different uh, hiking routes or natural routes and uh, some services uh, associated with these routes, for example, parkings, uh, fireplaces, or, uh, some accommodations or um, uh, side scenes, or whatever uh, tourists and uh, hikers uh, can need um, uh, when they go to the nature. And uh, another data uh, is uh, service locations on map. Uh, so this data um, uh, contains uh, very different uh, services. Uh, also private uh, and uh, public sec sector services. Um, uh, this, uh, uh, both uh, data sets are published uh, openly so anybody can uh, download uh, data sets and they also are um, um, available via uh, interfaces so uh, they can be integrated in any mm, API of other uh, providers. Uh, so uh, more about uh, our outdoor recreational data. It focused on uh, recreational and nature tourism uh, routes in southwest Finland. And uh, it already um, contains uh, over than uh, 2,000 uh, routes and associated public services in the region. Uh, there are, uh, oh, it's quite good, this <laughs> background music. <laughs> um, uh, so, uh, these are examples of such uh, information we have in this data. Um, hiking trails, information and parking areas, bird watching towers, beach, uh, com campfire sites, viewpoints, places for eating and activity services. Uh, and uh, data collection maintained through crowdsourcing using uh, the Virma maintenance uh, tool. And uh, this tool is a web interface uh, uh, to which uh, uh, data owners, uh, it can be uh, root, uh, actual maintainer, or uh, uh, any site uh, owner that uh, can input data uh, via this tool uh, into the database. Uh, I will describe later more in detail. Uh, 
And you can, you can find uh, this uh, tool uh, from virma.lounaistiedo.fi. And uh, our main users are municipalities, uh, village and recreational and outdoor associations, uh, different leader groups, entrepreneurs and tourism operators, and uh, service providers. Uh, and actually we try that uh, managers and owners of the routes and services, uh, they self provide data, not any other um, uh, people, because they uh, know best uh, about up-to-date information. And when information is changed, uh, so uh, these people can uh, uh, input uh, any editing additions uh, to the um, database. Uh, uh, this is uh, quite uh, uh, supervised um, process uh, because uh, administrator, and actually is Lona Stieto, uh, reviews and approves uh, new data additions. Uh, uh, and um, provides also guide, uh, guidance to users uh, how to fulfill uh, templates and uh, what information uh, should be added. Uh, but after that, uh, when uh, uh, just editing uh, existing data, uh, admin uh, reviews uh, don't need it anyway. So, um, and uh, um, also uh, national um, uh, sports facilities database uh, um, is uh, integrated uh, to our data uh, in such a way that uh, uh, it automatically uh, can uh, filter, it, filter it data that interested uh, for our database and uh, uh, so, uh, for, for example, municipalities don't need to input data to both uh, Birma database and uh, Lipas national database. They input data only to national database and uh, uh, such data come uh, automatically to our outdoor recreational database. And here you, you can uh, see um, flower chart uh, that very simply, in very simply way, shows uh, how process is organized. So register users uh, input data, um, and um, uh, via Virma maintains tool, and after that admin approve new additions and uh, data is saved in PostGIS database and uh, uh, LIPES national uh, sports facilities data uh, come um, automatically and uh, it is uh, uh, automatical process that is, uh, compare um, data in Virma uh, and uh, LIPES and uh, so uh, no, uh, no the same data come to the uh, database. And uh, after that, uh, inf inf information added to Virma maintenance it is transferred to the geospatial interface from which it is distributed to various places, automatically to the loan estate map service. And uh, as embedded map windows uh, on the websites of municipalities and other entities, and uh, to the Virma, Virma map uh, web application intended for tourists and hikers. And uh, you can also use it as open data for your own needs. And uh, here are some words about uh, Virma map application. So it's uh, use um, outdoor recreational data and it, uh, it is an open source Oscar based uh, mobile web map application. You can find it uh, uh, on internet, um, uh, it uh, address is uh, karta.virma.fi, 
Uh, it is uh, mobile road planning tools for outdoor activities. So anybody can find hand search for suitable route, for example, for weekends or if uh, uh, anybody wants to go um, far from uh, own uh, place uh, to, f to find some, some new activities with family. So it's a quite, uh, quite useful tool. Uh, you can plan before you go in outdoor. And uh, uh, it visualizes routes and services points dynamically uh, with uh, such data as route uh, length, service, lo serv service locations, and uh, also uh, there is um, real-time location integrated. Um, and uh, users can also uh, see images and uh, find uh, uh, straight links uh, uh, to find more information about sites or routes. And uh, there are some uh, about technologies we used um, to maintain this. Um, uh, application so map view is used to, uh, uh, map view is done to uh, with using oscari rpc uh, techniques uh, oscari is a uh, finland uh, finnish uh, net um, framework for um, uh, building uh, web maps and uh, map players uh, uh, come from um, uh, VMS uh, layers uh, and published via our Lone Ice Theater uh, GeoServer. And uh, for searching data, we use uh, VFS layers and uh, uh, application uh, log logic uh, is JavaScript and libraries uh, Vue, uh, Yise, and Vue uh, Fi. Uh, um, and additional open geospatial layers visible on the map application come from another uh, data providers. For example, OSM uh, OpenStreetMap places to stay and eat, and bicycle routes network, and all buildings data. And uh, here you can see how it looks like. Um, and uh, um, about services locations, it's another data source. Um, uh, it is uh, uh, service locations actually mean locations that people can visit and use specific services. And uh, this data is crucial for special, special analysis and land use planning. Uh, and, uh, um, but uh, before uh, in Finland, uh, there were no um, uh, any um, data that combined both. Um, public and um, private sector, uh, sector data. Um, so uh, our solution was uh, to combine uh, these two different source and uh, uh, first source for public uh, services is Finnish uh, service catalog and uh, another source is OpenStreetMap. And uh, it is uh, done by daily automatic updates th through uh, OGC web services and uh, data collected automatically. And uh, Gispo, thank you Gispo, that uh, <laughs> implemented uh, uh, for us this um, fantastic <laughs> automatization. Uh, oh, only one minute. <laughs> So uh, all uh, this data also visualized um, on a web map. You can find it uh, in our uh, Lona Stato map service, um, uh, but you can f uh, use this data as, as a data uh, for uh, your own um, uh, maps or uh, analysis. And uh, okay, uh, just two words about uh, Approach to be used uh, for crowdsourced data collection. Uh, so, for uh, service locations from uh, OpenStreetMap, uh, we used unsupervised um, approach. We uh, don't uh, uh, maintain uh, uh, quality of the data. 
just automatically filter uh, data we interested to our database. And uh, in case of Virma, uh, we supervise data inputs uh, uh, because we want uh, that data will be uh, with high quality. Uh, so as you know, maybe uh, crowdsourced data, special data uh, have uh, many limitations. Uh, it is about uh, data quality and accuracy and there are uh, coverage gaps and data can be interagenic. But uh, we have some strategies to overcome the limitations of crowdsourcing. Um, uh, we organize contributor training. Um, we try to enha enhance uh, data standardization. Uh, for example, we, we, um, uh, we can make uh, templates for um, OpenStreetMap um, inputs. So we suggest uh, our users uh, some specific categories uh, and amenities to use. And we provide uh, instructions for our users. And we uh, organize also mapathons in high schools and uh, University of Turku. Uh, so mapathons are a good um, source uh, to improve uh, your unsupervised data. Here you can see how we use uh, these mapathons. So, for example, uh, um, our map layer has a straight link to OpenStreetMap, and um, so a student can just click and go straight to the OpenStreetMap and uh, uh, input additional information. So we are all happy to have more uh, um, accuracy and. Uh, well, data. So thank you very much for your attention. You. And you can find uh, more. <laughs> <laughs> if you are interested uh, in technical data, please uh, come and uh, see um, our GitHub repositories to find more technical information about these solutions. Raise hand if you have. Hello. Uh, in uh, the Estonian Land Board, we have a very similar technical solution. And uh, I understand that you provide a UI for the users to insert or update the uh, data. Do you also have a possibility to import a larger mass of data so that the user doesn't have to do it like one by one? And also, if there are some users who want to do, use uh, the service um, through authentication, do you also provide that? Yes. Uh, it seems that you have the same questions, <laughs> the same problems. <laughs> um, yes. Uh, uh, for example, some uh, municipalities want to input uh, at the same uh, time uh, uh, information about uh, hundred. <laughs> um, yes, uh, there is some uh, some um, uh, technologies uh, we have in our code uh, opportunity for for this. 